Ozarks bring thousands of people to our area every year, but a boom in business and development is threatening the very thing that people come here for, our lakes and streams. Some say if we don't change the way we live, we could push people away. I like that it's, it's peaceful out here. Debbie Keebler spends a lot of time at Beaver Lake. There you go. We have good fishing here usually. Got it. But she's noticed the water isn't what it used to be. I've been here for 33 years and uh, the water used to be really clear over here. She's not the only one to see the change. Into Missouri and then back into Arkansas and then goes David Casaletto with Ozarks Water Watch Foundation sponsored the study to test our rivers and streams. <laughs> what he found is bad news for the natural state. Three rivers in our area, including the White River, received a grade of C. What it's telling you is you can't get much worse or you could end up with a highly uh, green uh, river or stream, a lot of algae if, if you add a lot more nutrients, a little more nutrients, but also tells you there's much room for improvement. A sea doesn't necessarily mean the water is unsafe. You can still swim, fish, and boat in it. Small mouth. But it means the water is no longer pristine like it was 50 years ago. And there's no one to blame but ourselves. Everyone's action is important to protect the water. Even if you don't live near a lake or stream, what you do every day can impact the water. The first hour of a stormwater event, what flushes off the land can be more toxic than raw sewage. It's stuff like fertilizer, trash, even oil. It all gets washed downstream and will eventually end up in our lakes. Uh, you're flushing parking lots, you're flushing lawns, it, it's nutrients, it's E. coli, your, your animal waste. Uh, uh, if you have failing septic systems, it's human waste. He says now is the time to take action before the damage is irreversible. Service your septic tanks, use pesticides that don't harm groundwater. If we don't, we're putting the very thing we're famous for in danger. We'll end up and we could have green lakes, we could have uh, green streams. You could have unsafe streams with E. coli. Luckily, that's not our case right now. Nice but, try. And people like Debbie do not it want to see that happen. And Ozark's Water Watch Foundation is a not-for-profit. The USGS, along with faculty from the U of A and the University of Missouri, actually performed the study. The rivers and streams tested in the study flow into Beaver Lake, Table Rock, and Bull Shoals Lake. To learn what you can do to keep our lakes and streams clean, just visit 4029tv.com and look under As Seen On.